Because the next time I'm gonna buy a pair of uh, gloves, I'll be buying full gauntlet. <laughs> for a ride as usual it is uh, on the way i saw a bunch of guys just like me who don't even touch their motorcycles uh, in the week adoring them and riding them to a destination that they are not aware about to meet a set of people that they might not meet again to go, when they go to the same place but uh, that's how they feel good and that's how i feel good so i'm out for a vlog a vlog for all of you all. Uh, it, it seems like I'm just out riding. I'm, I'm not thinking of anything specific apart from riding as such. But uh, yes, I have, uh, I have. I've been planning to review the gear I use. So this is gonna be the first one. So these are the gloves. These are the half gloves, or you can call them street gloves by Royal Enfield. Uh, the story of them goes like uh, I was planning gloves and I had to buy a pair of gloves where I can tour with them at the same time I can I can ride in city as well so I was not going for the I was not wanted wanting to go for a for a full gauntlet gloves uh, that dawned upon me later because uh, in order to tour as well you need to have gauntlet gloves because uh, while touring a lot of sunlight comes on to the uh, the difference that comes on to the skin which is left out between the street gloves and uh, the riding jacket, the, the piece. This, this is the small part of your hand that we left out when you are touring. And in uh, harsh sun, uh, you should be able to cover that or you should cover that for, uh, for obvious reasons. You don't want to get tanned like... Uh, you don't want to get a tatted line of tan. I, it dawned upon me very late, but uh, it was something worth. Because the next time I'm gonna buy a pair of uh, gloves, I'll be buying full gauntlets. But these these are uh, quite nice. I bought them for uh, 2,500 bucks uh, at a Royal and Peel showroom near my place. It was a uh, yes, it was a new purchase, so. Prior to them, I was using, uh, so I was uh, stunt riding. Uh, in order to do that, you need to have comfortable sort of pair of gloves at the same time, dirty because uh, the gear get, tends to get uh, quite uh, tested through a lot. So I had to buy cheap gloves. So I bought, I went for uh, Pro Bikers one initially, ones, um, and this is the time. I, I'm talking about I'm talking about uh, 2009 or 10, so probably uh, it's been a long time. So these gloves have been great. I have uh, I have ridden a lot on them. The whole uh, 20,000 you can see on the meter on the Odo. I have had ridden them on 20,000, this 20,000, and you can add uh, a set of more. I have done 20,000 plus on them. So these are quite nice. They have these Kevlar shields on them, uh, on the on the on the fingers and uh, knuckles as well. Uh, good thing about them is uh, after quite initially, uh, you must buy the size that fits you. If you are not able to decide which size you're you're gonna go for. I would suggest you to go for a size low, the gloves which sit fit you tight because uh, in due time it's leather, uh, it'll it'll expand and you will be able to buy um, a new pair of gloves after a long time because they'll fit you good, they'll fit you great. The fitting on these gloves is quite nice, um, I'm able to use them properly. Although I think the price was a bit higher because Cramster charges around... 2500 bucks on them I'm, I'm quite uh, I was quite amazed to see that because the day I bought them I, I thought let's check out uh, a set a few websites um, 
and it turned out pretty eye opening for me but i couldn't exchange them at that point so i was stuck in the deal but i like these gloves um, they have these uh, protectors here at the hand and uh, a sort of mesh kind of thing for your grips uh, there is one uh, con on them i have I've been through this so i would warn you any leather gloves you're going to buy and which are uh, not waterproof if you're going to go through let's say you go through a, a quite rainy ride so i rode from mumbai till surat that was that's 250 kilometers in water that was pouring cats and dogs uh, and the color on them it it got out so it's it's sort of a navy blue color and my hands were all uh, drenched in that it it took around 2 or 3 days to get that cleaned up cleared up from my hands but uh, apart from all of that uh, the gloves are quite great you should be able to use them properly i'm just going to i'm going to give you a brief of overlook of them these are the gloves we are talking about right now you can see them this is the kevlar lined protectors on fingers as well quite flexible this is the other hand um, quite comfortable not for the rain no as far as the pricing is concerned i'm pretty sure the current price are quite low because i've bought them a couple of years ago and uh, I don't like this Royal Enfield because I've been asked quite a few times that uh, dude, you are riding a Bajaj and you have a Royal Enfield club, and uh, I tend to say that gear is gear. You buy, you buy a fucking showy helmet while riding on a Royal Enfield club. So that's how it is. You buy a Sena while wearing an LST. That's how it is. It's, it's what you, what fits you, what, uh, what suits you. Stopping on to that, the sun is up. You guys can see it. As far as uh, this product review is concerned, I'm I'm pretty sure I was able to give you uh, everything that was that was needed here. If there's anything left out, you can uh, you can comment down in the comment section. I'll be I'll be very happy to uh, assist you guys if I can. Uh, no. Uh, guys it's going to happen um, i'm 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 sure you guys were able to enjoy the ride enjoy the review any anything i have done better please let me know in the comments like share subscribe do all that you can